All right, tools of the trade. We're gonna go try for, uh, hopefully that big gray fox will show up again tonight. I got my um, <clears throat> Ruger 1022, and I got some uh, yellow jackets in there. Um, I got my blind, my seat, and uh, my little wounded rabbit display, battery operated. So we'll see. Hopefully, we'll get a fox down there tonight. All right, here's my setup. I'm right at the edge of some really thick stuff that I've taken Fox out of before and saw the big gray down in that woodlot last night. <clears throat> it's a good area. I just hope my 22, it's not a mistake I didn't bring the 223, reach out and get them. But we're going to let the woods settle down for half an hour, get close to dark and uh, start calling. Nice fox. Tell you what, man, those little yellow jackets, they work like a charm. Nice coat. Mouse squealer and a decoy. Good combination. Had a chance to get out to the farm where the farmer was uh, seeing a bunch of fox. He wanted a couple of them removed. And this is the first gray fox that I've ever seen in the farms that I've been hunting for over 12 years. And he came in tonight just before dark to a decoy a battery operated decoy and a mouse squealer and about 25 yard shot with 22 took him down but most of the time I always see a red fox but to see a gray fox something you don't see actually I've never seen a gray fox where I hunt so um, I'm excited but the farmer actually wants me to take more out if I can they're um, they're giving his uh, his chickens problems.